and welcome Matt. Thank you, Dan. Good to be with you. I'd like to have a chat to you today about uh, the GAINS Advanced Planning System. Sure. Uh, can you tell me what is GAINS? So GAINS is a best of breed demand inventory and supply chain planning and optimization system. It enables companies to optimize costs and working capital while improving customer service levels. With over four decades of development experience, GAINS has proven scalability up to 15 million SKU by store combinations. It has easy integration with different ERP systems, including Oracle and SAP. We have 24 seven full-time support staff here in Australia. It's recently been recognized in the Gartner Magic Quadrant for supply chain planning software as a leading solution in that space. What are some of GAINS' capabilities? So as an integrated system, GAINS has three core functions, demand planning and forecasting, inventory optimization, and replenishment planning. If we start with the demand planning module, it has what's called tournament forecasting, which chooses the most plausible forecast out of a selection of 40 forecast models. It has functions around new item introduction and launch forecast capability. It has promotional and events-based forecasting management. And for more advanced implementations, you can use machine learning algorithms, which take observable trends out of external information and can derive a forecast based off of regression analysis. From an inventory optimization perspective, GAINS takes in the costs associated with inventory, so your holding and receiving costs, and determines an optimal order quantity based off those that balances those two costs. It can determine the ideal stocking location and service level to meet an availability target, and it can optimize around profit costs and inventory constraints. From a replenishment planning perspective, GAINS produces a replenishment plan out to two years for each of your SKU by location records. It can proactively determine inventory sharing recommendations, so to internally share um, inventory instead of having to procure additional inventory, saving cost. And the replenishment recommendations are exception based, so it enables planners to prioritise their workload and manage by exception, making sure they focus on recommendations that are greatest urgency. Matt, I believe GAINS can be installed uh, um, on a client side or it can be delivered as a software as a service model. Can you tell me what is a software as a service model? So software as a service is where the infrastructure behind the applications of the database and that are actually stored on the internet in the cloud and users access the application via a web browser, for example. The benefits of that is you have no infrastructure investment on your IT team. The maintenance and upgrade cycles are much easier. Those are all done in the background effectively. So some of the benefits of software as a service are no upfront infrastructure investment requirements, automated maintenance and backup and disaster recovery, guaranteed uptimes uh, through our service level agreements, and third party security testing um, to protect your data. What sort of results and benefits can uh, the average client achieve with gains? So because we take a business delivery approach rather than just a technical implementation approach, we typically see benefits of 10% inventory reduction within the first 12 months, increasing to 20% over a three year period. Service levels can improve up to 40% within the first 12 months and certainly workload efficiencies uh, with your planning team. You mentioned the workload efficiencies. What sort of user experience can the uh, users expect with GAINS? So compared to your typical ERP system, which can be quite fragmented across different screens and having to do different steps and configure multiple things in different ways, the majority of GAINS planning is done effectively on three screens. And it's exception based, which helps planners focus on really what's important. For example, one of our clients with eight planners are managing three million SKU at store combinations. If I've already got an ERP system that has some planning functionality in it, why would I use GAINS? Three key reasons. Most planning modules within ERP systems are not fit for purpose in today's complex supply chain environment. If you ask yourself, how well does my ERP system manage SKU proliferation, increasing complexity of my supply chain network, increase lead times from using inputs, for example, your ERP is primarily a transacting and recording system not a planning optimization system. The second key reason is ERP interfaces are not very user friendly. So much of the work has to be done across multiple screens, multiple things have to be configured. Gains is primarily done within three screens 
and many of the most important planning parameters are automatically configured. And thirdly, your ERP planning module often doesn't contain the more advanced techniques that an advanced planning system like GAINS would contain. So they're not using cutting edge technologies like AI or machine learning or advanced analytics, which you would get with a system like GAINS. So Matt, what makes the GRA implementation approach different? So unlike many uh, software consulting firms, we're actually experts in supply chain. So we're not just implementing the software and doing point and click training, we're teaching your planners methodologies behind improving supply chains, how to do supply chain optimization. We're also there for the journey. We utilize our coach mentors, which carry on and do post go live support for your team, making sure that those techniques are bedded down. Finally, we utilize a design, develop and deliver implementation methodology to ensure that the benefits that you realize at the end of the project are sustained ongoing. Matt, thank you very much for your time. Appreciate your time, Dan, thanks very much.